Went to a wine tour, yeah. I went a trip on the bay, yeah. went to Sonoma Valley and Napa Valley. Went Sounds to, like you managed to stay away from the convention. I, to the greatest extent possible. <laughs> I was a delegate. He's one of the bull weevils that has to make up his mind. <laughs> I've, I've made mine up. <laughs> Can I give you a World's Fair pen? That's uh, from the New Orleans World's Fair. Whoa. We'd love to have you down there, I tell you. You know, it'd be a, a, a real asset to the fair, which is in trouble. It'd be a great political trip for you. Don't pin it on, I just want to give it to you. Mm -hmm. I want to mess up your, right. uh, your deal. But uh, oh. I don't know what the schedule is doing, but I think it'd be a, a real tremendous opportunity yeah. to, to make it. I don't know what the plans are. Yeah. Now the plans are on the hands of people. Yeah, yeah. it's through yeah. November. So. Come before the election, it's November the, the 11th. Election. No, this goes through November the 11th. It's an interesting fair. It's a fun fair, as you can imagine New Orleans yeah. would do. Knoxville was a very technical and a very scientific fair, yeah. but this was a, a real tremendous one. Well, I hope I can. Well, you may have to yeah. put it on your desk somewhere. Yeah. Very good. What? Put it on your desk and we'll let you. You don't want to put it, you want to pin it on. It's best to put a hole in there. But I appreciate it. I just want to get a, a photo well, op. I know you do this. I appreciate it. So, thank well, you. Well, I appreciate all the help. And we'll keep doing the work. It's like Central America. We're for it. I was telling uh, me that uh, Jim Wright said something positive about it on the news this morning on the television that he was supporting it. So, Lord, I hope so. No, we'd give but it away if we don't. Yeah. We're yeah. strong behind you on it. Thank you. Thank you. That's all. Much. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, fellas. Thank you. Huh? Appreciate it. That was good. Thank you. Hi, Hi. How are you? Good afternoon, Mr. President. Good what a pleasure you. to see you. Oh, good to always. See you. Sandy yes. Sandstrom. Oh, we met about 20 yes. years ago. Huh? His daughter, his granddaughter, Jack <laughs> Me too. And his daughter, Connie oh, Sandstrom. Family. Yes, I think it was 1963. That, uh, precisely. Yeah. That's when I was there. In fact, you were wearing uh, Charlie Finch's coat. Yes, that's right. Got rain, I think. Does this have a look for me? It sure does. I was yes. program chairman of the London group, and I asked some of your boys for uh, uh, topics for the dizzy crowd and El Tappy, and that was pretty answer. Uh, and that's what you sent. Well, I'll be. Uh, yes. This was earlier. You were as wise then as you are now, Mr. You're President. Right. They still read well. <laughs> uh, well, well, we've had a long correspondence. Yes, yes, we have. We didn't see you now, Mr. President. You had a different job than you had when you came to see A little bit, yes. My daughter and I live in Dixie. We were at your birthday party. We were at your birthday party. Oh, for heaven's sake. I was standing right in front of your face with a bright green Girl Scout uniform on. She was an actual. <laughs> And it was a special day. They have a, a replica day. for you. Uh, the gentleman who carved this, uh, this is one of his last speeches, Mr. President, that you received the copy of the yeah. Freedom Bell where you spoke. I died a few months ago, but I we promised did. I'd do what I could. <laughs> <laughs> That's the official bell. That's the child of the one that you did. Yes, yeah. And Connie has for you a picture of the bell itself that you rang back in 1963. And it still uh, it still rings true. It still, <laughs> it's still rings there. true. Uh, well, that's great. I, uh, I'm, I'm so happy that Governor Thompson now has made things official. Indeed, he has. Oh, it's we get proclamations out of the office every year. So. Mr. President, I spoke there, but Sandy always says you, you were so much better than I am that uh, I am embarrassed and jealous. <laughs> you want to see how it's going? Can she show you some of these? Well, these are a number of the state and national, national proclamations about the Freedom Bell, and all due through Sandy's wow. work, Mr. President. Wow. That's wonderful. That was a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only Mount Morris was when we lost to Mount Morris College playing football. <laughs> 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 For the yeah. We want to thank you very much. This means a great deal to the Sandstrom family. Yeah. Really Listen, I thank you. Oh, is this for me, too? Yes, it is. Thank you, brother. Well, the ladies, we have a yes. charm here. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You have thank you. Thank you. We'll have thank one. Thank you. <laughs> That's time bar. Oh boy. <laughs> 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 the July 4th celebration. It's only fair, I'll trade. 
with the freedom down. Hey, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Mr. President. Huh? Just a reminder of our heritage of freedom. Yes. And it's something to be reminded. I just seen the results of the polls where the highest percentage of any country in the world, Americans, uh, pride in country is the greatest. Highest percentage that we said if yes, if the rules were, they would fight for our country. And uh, tremendous percentage, something like 96% when asked the reasons that they feel this way is because they say they're the freest. Mr. President, you've helped restore that feeling in America. Thank you. Look forward to your reelection. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aside from Dixon, so. The man of confidence. Say hello to Dixon for us. Oh, we sure will. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. They don't swim at Gold Park anymore, do they? Not I don't think much. they're allowed anymore. They it's haven't had though. a good guard for a long yeah. time. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we're going to be able to do. They're free. Yeah. So stop on by. Well, I didn't know when I was there before they said it wasn't. Now they have the pool, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not as many lives saved either. They need you back, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you again. Time. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Thank Thanks you for giving us some of your time. Well, it's a great pleasure. The people of Mount Morris uh, just want to be remembered to you. Well, you do my very best. A thousands of wishes. Thank you for all my, my toys here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's about what it is. Well, it is. It's wonderful. Thank you. The old boy that made it was serious about it. Well, he's done quite a job. He really is. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thanks a lot. Say a little mm -hmm. answer. I will. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, thank you very much. I'm very right. pleased to have that. Thank you. This is Essie Quinn. Yes. Hello, City Council. Nice to see you. I'd like to present you with like, Tommy Tommy's app. Well, you have a membership. Tommy's Festival is held every year in Du Bois. Well, now that's really, that's really something since, uh, my boy, when I grew up as a kid. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's hard to believe that at this age. But uh, rooting for Tom Nix and <laughs> I want to see him in the movies. This is Dr. Siren, who's the chairman of the Tom Nix Festival. Well, hello, I really the guys that have to see you. I'd like to present to you the booklet I wrote on Tom Nix. And uh, he was my hero, too. And uh, enough uh, that uh, to celebrate his 100th birthday, we started an annual Tom Mix Festival in New Boys, Pennsylvania, to which we invite you and your staff. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> he was my hero, too. <laughs> and he gave Duke Wayne his first job <laughs> that a, I as an extra in 1929. Right. I didn't mm -hmm. know that. Mm -hmm. Well, well this is uh, Mr. Herb Martin, who's the editor of the paper. Mr. President, it's okay. my pleasure. And I'm part of the committee and also in charge of arrangements. Mm -hmm. Well. Thank you very much. I'm very pleased to have this. very honored. We're very pleased to honor you with it. You know, you to our festival. Well, we hope the hat fits. If it doesn't. Yeah, presidential seat. Ah, oh, thank you. And I have to tell you, when I was at Warner Brothers all those years, when I had been doing all those drawing room comedies and things, and I kept pleading with them, let me do a Western, let me do a Western, and so forth. And I finally got so mad, I told Jack Warner, that if he ever let me do a west, he'd probably make me the lawyer from the east. <laughs> <laughs> but he did, eventually. Eventually, I got it. Yeah. You were such an actor, a good actor. I didn't think you could make a good president, but you're a better president. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Democrat. <laughs> I just want to let you know, Mr. President, that I not only have Tom Nix on videotape, I have President Reagan on tape, too, on this, one of your early movies. Well, thank you very much. It was, my, our fav it was our most famous picture that, that we loved years ago called King's Road. Oh, well, I don't think there's any question that was the best picture I've ever King's seen. Road we fell in love yeah. with, and the musical score by Wolfgang, uh, yeah. the musical was beautiful. That is many times included as one of the ten yeah, right, of the classics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, we're going to have you here. Thank you, Mr. President.
My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. yeah. Someday you might get the two boys. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to work. I thank you, sir, and so does Tom Nix and Tony. <laughs> Use that key. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. President, I think you know Bob. Yes, hi. Oh, all right. Mr. Hi. President, it's certainly a pleasure to see you. And I appreciate you taking the time out to get a little shot. If you don't mind, uh, you're going to be the recipient of the, a pin for the Bienville Society. Ah. And this is a, an outgrowth of the DAR. And yeah. I have a young lady that would like me very much to present this to you at this time. Well, thank you very and much. I'll, uh, I'll give you the backup literature so that you'll know uh, exactly how you've been on it. All right. Well, I know just a little bit. I know that it is a, a, a part of the, an offshoot of the DAR. That's right. You know, and I know that they're very interested in, uh, in uh, underprivileged kids. They, they do a great deal with underprivileged yeah. kids. Is that, that's ex exactly correct. In fact, I've got all the portfolio, and uh, I'd like to uh, let you take a look at that. I uh, had a couple of other uh, items that, uh, politically, that I'd just like to throw at you, just that are in a, and I've just already briefed uh, Dennis and, and B, and uh, uh, just to let you know how Louisiana is going, first of all, it's 100% Reagan. I think that uh, you're going to carry that state overwhelmingly. I'd like to hear that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the, with, particularly with the events last week in San Francisco, you're going to do very, very well down there. And, we, and I know John Bro was just in to see you, and he was inviting you to uh, come to Louisiana and to spend a little time at the World's Fair. I'd like to echo that. Uh, I think uh, the earlier you can get there, the, the better. I know the people are just dying to see you down yeah, there. I'd like it. Oh, fine. And uh, uh, might I just address the, those two other items? Um, Dave Train announced at the last minute on Friday for Senate against Matt Johnston. Uh, that may pose problems uh, or, or for whatever reason, but uh, the polls show that he's got a 50-50 shot of winning. Mm. The Senatorial Committee is very much in favor of his uh, uh, running. Uh, I don't think he fully had his heart in, uh, in, in the filing of those papers, but he has filed and he's making his mind up to today or tomorrow as to whether or not he will run. And I talked with his wife a little while ago, about two hours ago, and, and she told me, you know, he, I don't think he's going to run, but he told me that if, if the President of the United States called him and asked him to run, and he, and he has no idea, I'm repeating this, uh, that he might, uh, he, he, would, he would probably change his mind. Mr. President, uh, it means uh, the possibilities of cheap races on September 29th of this year, it's two months away. That's when the race is. Uh, unique Louisiana law. And if he runs in those two months, he has very good acceptance in the state. Edwards, the current governor, is very, very uh, is in a, a downside right now. And we have no uh, Democrat or I mean, no Republican candidate. Yeah, what we want to do, I say to Bob, and we'll talk with B. We want to do some checking, and if we could get back and see, do some checking yet here real quick, sir. And I would, I would urge you to consider giving him a call today if you could. And and the other thing is, the Speaker of the House, who under Trent, who is no longer Speaker of the House now, in the state legislature is a guy by the name of John Hankel. Uh, there's a possibility that Hankel would switch to become from a Democrat to a Republican. If he does, he'll bring 20 Democrats over 10 to, 10 to 20 Democrats over from the, in the State House and Senate uh, to become Republicans. And we would ask you to give him a call, and then Dennis is going to check that we'll out too. That, yeah. that is not as urgent as this, other, as this first matter. So right. if you could consider those, I'd really appreciate it. Okay. And I'm ready to plug for you all the way through the fall. Thank you for that. Thank you, sir. And thank you for this. Thank you. And I'm going to leave that this with uh, Dennis, if I could. This is the background material. On that right. little item, and you already know about it. Yep. And okay. uh, we'll leave the phone numbers as well. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye.